Hello, Shelly. Thank you for your time. I'm so glad to be here, Juliet. The Wrench Crew Holiday Lights. I'm so excited for this event. 200 light features. Ah! This event is put on by Wrench Crew Dover Community Council. Mm -hmm. I have some questions about it, Shelly. Well, shoot, I'm here to answer all your questions. Where did you get the idea to do an event like this? Well, you know, because of all the uh, COVID problems we've had in this past year, we can't do a lot of the fun Christmas things that we normally would do, right? Which includes gathering around a big Christmas tree and having all kinds of fun things together. But as we put our lighted uh, thinking caps on, we decided, you know, we could still have a fantastic light show that everybody can come and enjoy from the safety of their car and let's just let our minds run wild and see what we can come up with for a fun, fun family outing for anybody of any age. Mm -hmm. Do you need generators to keep all the power going with all the light bulbs? That's a great question. We actually are very blessed on our um on our property at 2300 Mineshaft Lane, right off Highway 50, um, we have all the power we need. So if you want to imagine this, we had to find places to plug in about 550 plugs. Now imagine that. How many days and hours does it take to set up? Well, we have been kind of working on it for the past couple of weeks. One of the things we've just built is a light tunnel. So that kind of started right back around Halloween. But uh, in the last few weeks, every few days, we get out there and we start plotting our uh, design and it's starting to take shape. Now, next week, the week before we open, that's when we'll have all kinds of volunteers out there helping us bring it to life. And it'll all happen in just a few days. Kind of Christmas magic. What is the biggest light feature you set up? Well, I would say um, our, our, our light tunnel, a tunnel of lights, it is about 150 feet long. Where is the event occurring? Uh, well, most people would know uh, this location as the old mine shaft property. And that's on right off Highway 50 between Sunrise Boulevard and Hazel. It's uh, you, the best way to get there is to take Folsom Boulevard, like from Sunrise Boulevard, and you you won't be able to miss it because you'll see a lot of lights. Then there's another really important part of this, Juliet, that some people may not even know about, and it's but it's turning into be one of the most important parts of the holiday lights, and that is that you know uh, Christmas is that time of year for giving, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have partnered up with about five really wonderful local nonprofit organizations. And when you buy your tickets, if you want, you can make a donation to that um, to them. And they include things like the Cordova Food Locker and Whisker Warriors. The Veterans Village is looking for to uh, for pillows, and you can also bring things with you. For example, the you can bring a toy to donate to the uh, Rancho Cordova Police Activities League's uh, you know Christmas giveaway for kids who don't have as much as you or me. Thank you, Shelley. The Rancho Cordova holiday lights look so exciting.